Let's say you have a bunch of molecules. The molecular theory says that they are moving around in constant random motion. If you add heat to these molecules, maybe you hold it over a fire. As the heat energy transfers, one of two things can happen. You can either move the molecules farther apart without changing their speeds, or you can make them go faster while keeping them roughly the same distance apart. In the first case, this is a change of phase. We're changing from solid to liquid or maybe liquid to gas. And in the second case, this is a change of temperature or a change in temperature. In the first case, we are adding potential energy. That's where the heat goes. And in the second case, we are adding kinetic energy. The heat, the word heat or energy transferred, that word refers only to the energy while it is in transit. Once it becomes potential energy or kinetic energy, we no longer refer to it as heat. It's only heat while it's going from one object to the other object. So heat refers specifically to the energy that is being transferred, the energy while being transferred. And once it becomes inside the object, we refer to it as internal energy, which can be either the potential or kinetic energy of the molecules. So heating can do two things. You can either change temperature or you can change phase. When you change temperature, the amount of temperature change is given by this equation, where Q is the heat you add, M is the mass, C is the specific heat, and delta T is the change in temperature. When you change phase, the amount of heat is given by this equation. M is the mass, and L is the latent heat. This value will be different for the two types of phase changes. In particular, there is a latent heat of vaporization and a latent heat of fusion. Vaporization is what we use when we're going one way or another between a gas and a liquid. Fusion is what we use when we're going one way or another between a liquid and a solid. So if you're freezing the object, that's liquid to solid, you would use the value for fusion. If the phase change is condensing, condensing is going from gas to liquid, so you would use the latent heat of vaporization. The positive and negative are there because if you are finding the amount of heat when an object is freezing, well, to freeze an object, you have to extract heat. You have to take heat out of the object. So we would add the negative there, and we would use the latent heat of fusion because freezing is a case of liquid to solid. If you were melting by contrast, when you melt an object, you add heat to it. So you have a positive sign. We choose the positive. And then you use again for melting the latent heat of fusion, because melting is going from solid to liquid. By contrast, this equation needs no positive or negative added in, because it shows up on its own through the delta t. If you have a final temperature of 5 and an initial temperature of 15, then doing final minus initial gives us a negative value. So the negative shows up on its own. Over here, we have to add the negative in ourselves whenever we're going from liquid to solid or gas to liquid.